DIY for and I am so excited about today's Halloween costume that I think I was planning it back in July. But it's from one of my favorite TV shows. If you watch Westworld, you know who Dolores is. So her look has definitely changed into the second season, so I'm going to go with season two Dolores. And this costume, there are a lot of components to it and I'm not going to lie, it is a little bit pricey. However, if you were to buy this costume online, which I also think looks like a cheap costume from the research I did, it's going to cost you so much more than if you were to DIY it yourself. So let's go through everything that I picked up for this costume, which was quite a lot. I had some really great lucky thrift finds. And uh, first off, that would be with this massive blue dress that I picked out. So this is huge on me, but the color is perfect and it's going to be really easy to remake this into Dolores' skirt. Also on her skirt, she kind of has um, a lace gown almost like underneath. So I picked up this other massive lace dress and the bottom portion of it is what I'm going to be focusing on and using for the costume here. So elsewhere in the thrift store, I don't know how I lucked out, but I managed to find myself a white corset. It was the only one in the store. I did have to make it a little bit smaller to fit myself, but I, I got that for a couple of bucks. So that is definitely, I would say, unnecessary. If you don't find one, that's okay, but I think it really kind of completes the look. And this is the top that I ended up finding, and I think it's pretty good. It um, has a similar kind of shape to hers, and I think that it should work pretty good for that. So all of those clothes total the majority of the cost of the outfit, probably around $35. And everything else is small items that I picked up at the dollar store, and also I guess at the thrift store as well. So I did pick up two brown leather belts. You're going to need one for around her waist, and then one for the like bullet thing that she wears. I don't know what it's called. She also has a brown little pouch. I found this one at the thrift store that I'm going to use and it was like $3. I'm just gonna use some scrap material that I already had. And then for the bullets, you're going to need to pick up these little wooden dowels. These are from the dollar store for a couple of bucks as well. And other items I got at the dollar store include this elastic so I can make my skirt and then a blue ribbon to add the accent on the shirt for her. So it is a lot of product, but total it cost me about $45 Canadian to buy everything for this costume, which is a fraction of the cost of what you would actually end up buying and uh, purchasing online for a costume that I think looks cheaply made and isn't going to look nearly as good as this costume. So I need to use as much of this dress as possible, just cutting it below the armpits. And then I'm using a skirt that I have already to kind of create this new A-line shape. But here's where I made a mistake. This is not stretchy material like the skirt that I am replicating. So I did close up both of those sides where I made those new cuts. However, on one side, I left it half open because that's the only way it's gonna fit over my butt now. But what I did next is just sew a few hems along the top and then also along the portion that is still now open as you can see new hems there and how I'm going to close it up is just with some velcro absolutely you could do this with a real zipper I didn't have one on me and this is just a costume so I'm just using a zipper there in or a, a velcro instead so next on the bottom of the skirt we want to add the lace portion I want it to peek out just ever so slightly and I'm cutting it just along here because I already have a seam on the blue skirt and I'm just gonna stitch it in a Along there so that's kind of the best way to kind of hide this because it's already there I stitched it along on the inside and you can barely see it next you need to rough up the bottom of her skirt so this is uh, pretty ratted and tatted by the season two rolls around so I cut it up and I used some heavy grit sandpaper and just really frayed up those edges to make it look more worn in Next, we're moving on to the bullets. These are the dowels that I used originally, and you can see I cut them down quite a bit smaller just with a handsaw. That's so that it looks better and fits better on the belt that I found. If you found a wider belt, you could probably keep the bullets the same size, but I think it just looks better this way. And I just used a little bit of gold paint and uh, painted up all of those bullets. 
So you can set that aside to dry and move on to her top. And all you have to do to this is add a whole bunch of holes along the neckline of the shirt. That's so that you can thread through a thin blue ribbon. And here's kind of the pattern that she has on her shirt. It's a large portion of blue showing with a small portion of white. So two holes tight together and then a big space, two holes tight together and a big space. Just put a bow at the front of the shirt and that should be all good. So next we're moving back to our bandolier, which is the technical term for her bullet belt. That's what I'm calling it. My boyfriend told me that it's a bandolier. He's in the military, so I trust him. But I'm just using a scrap piece of faux fabric that I had, faux leather that I have here, and you're going to use a hot glue gun and put each bullet in and hot glue it into place. But you wanna make sure that that bullet can move in and out so no glue is actually keeping it down and then you can remove some of those bullets to continue making your bandolier some of them are empty in the one that she wears in the show and then that way you don't have to buy as many and uh, put it together and that's really all there is okay so here's the completed costume just a couple of things to keep in mind she always wears her hair half pulled back um, this, I didn't really show you how I did it, but it's essentially just a belt. When you're looking for one, try and make sure it's got a large rectangle or square here, which is what hers has. And then this piece is actually just like a mini purse or a small wallet that I found and I was able to slide it onto the belt so I didn't have to sew it. That might be something that you have to do. She wears it fairly loose. Um, this piece just kind of goes on over top of your shoulder. And I paired it with some cowboy boots, which I don't think are a big deal because the skirt's long enough that you mostly don't really see your footwear. So that's it for this week's costume tutorial. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, share it with friends, and if you make this costume, I'd love to see it. Follow me at Janelle Steeper on Twitter and Instagram and tag me in some photos. Lots of other costume tutorials on my channel for Halloween. I'll leave them linked below for you. And next week I'll have another one for you. So don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.